So I haven't posted a video in a while, so I thought I'd make one today, giving y'all an update on what all's been going on. Summertime's crazy with work. I don't have a whole lot of time to spend on tinkering, playing around in the shop. Uh, I haven't really gotten much farther on the Baja. Still have to do the front end, still have to do the roll cage seats. Uh, just button up all the little stuff. It's getting close. I'm hoping this winter to have some more stuff to uh, do to it. But I got bored the other day. It was raining. Couldn't go to work. I work outside. Couldn't go to work. So I got bored. Got on Facebook Market. And I found a, a deal that I couldn't really pass up. So I figured I'd show it to you guys. It's a sortie single cab, 1968. I, I've always wanted a single cab, but I've never really cared to have a short one, a shortened one. This one, the wheelbase, is uh, four foot nine inches, which is a little short. Some people like shortening them. Th they like to uh, make little toys out of them, but... That's not really my thing, but I've always wanted a single cab, but I couldn't pass it up. Now this thing needs a ton of metal work. You can see the bottom's been cut out, headlight bucket's been cut out. Uh, this guy, he, he just started the project, got six years into it, and just lost interest and wanted it gone. Uh, He's got, you know, these bay windows are bad about the little pinholes down through here. So he's put this patch panel in. And it looks, I mean, it looks pretty good. He's got some time in it. I know, I know these corners can be tricky. But you can see, like, there's pinholes here. All oh, this is surface rust. This headlight bucket's going to have to come out. I've got quite a few patch panels. This is all the stuff that come with it. Like there's the old headlight. Uh, disc brakes, this is a 68, but he's got a uh, 71 front end, which was the first year for the disc brakes. So that's all there. He's got a new floor. I mean, he's just got, he's gathered a ton of patch panels. That's going to have to be replaced. The floor. I'm picking up, on, on Sunday, I'm picking up a uh, 73 camper. And this part in the camper is pretty solid. So I think I'll be able to rob it out of it. To patch this. You can see back there, it's all rusted out. and It's beat to pieces. The floor he stripped out. Treasure chest floor. What's left of it. He stripped out. Under here. I mean there's a few pinholes. Towards the sides. But. The main frame is fairly solid. I don't think this is original. I think he bought it at a swap meet. But it's the same, well, I'm guessing it's the same year. It's got 68 Sarfeet on it. The uh, battery tray. Of course, it's gone. They're always gone. I've got another one of those. But it's solid here. Normally, they blow out right here where that battery tray is. But as you can tell, I mean, it's pretty solid right there. Roughly. That'll be a little less work. Uh, there's the back glass. This corner, you can see it's got a few pinholes where it's blowed out. It's been pushed on. Same thing over here. A few pinholes. This side's a lot better shape. Up in there is good and solid. But I mean, everything under here, for the most part, frame-wise, is solid. 
it is not too bad. Now this piece, inside and outside, I've got here. And it is for a single cab. You can see the treasure chest uh, door latch goes there. So it's the right metal. You can see he cut it here, cut it here. See where he cut the frame here. And he cut it here. He didn't do a bad job, I don't think. I'm putting putting it back together. And like I said, I don't really like on sorting. I've never been big into that. So call me crazy, but I think I'm gonna stretch it back out. I mean, why not? There's no reason I couldn't cut this out. Put uh, some C-channel or something in here. This right up here is just, I could probably throw some square tubing in there. I know it won't be, you know, perfect, but it's going to be, in my opinion, better than this being short. I've already got everything I need here to stretch it back out. So all I have to come up with is this panel here. And it's 250 bucks per side. So like 600 bucks, I could stretch this thing back out. If I'm, I mean, if I'm gonna do it, now's the time, right? <laughs> Just a thought though. I mean, you can tell there's like, you can see how short that is. I mean, that is short. This panel here is supposed to start there. And this part of the the far right of the door that's now eight inches is supposed to be there. So he's basically cut out like that much. I know I won't be able to start on this project till at least this winter, which probably four months from now I could probably start on it so I'll tell you what I do between now and then leave a comment on what you think whether I need to keep it short or stretch it back out where it was and we'll take a tally of the votes and uh, if I got more votes on keeping it short I'll keep it short if I got more votes of stretching it back out where it uh, originally was then I'll stretch it back out it's up to y'all. I'll show y'all the underneath. Like I said, most of most of this, yeah, both of the uh, frame rails going down are super solid. But these cross pieces, both of them have obviously had some blowout. But I've already got one sitting right there, ready to go. So I'm only gonna need to get one more, and this is basic, you know, looks like a one by four. So I could probably just use some regular steel. Something thin, just cut that out. The, the corners are solid. It's just here. So there's plenty of good metal to to weld to on the sides. I mean, I'd be more out to build a show truck out of it if it didn't need so much metal work and it wasn't cut in half. But I think it could. Uh, be built into something practical, something you could drive around, not be afraid to drive in the rain, and maybe actually use it to go get parts, put parts in the bed of it, not worry about scratching it. This fender well is actually pretty solid. I mean, it's got obvious pinholes here and there, but it's nothing like that side. 
I believe the only patch panels that I'm missing so far is going to be this, this, uh, one of the braces down below that go across, and then all of these. But everything else is here. And it's, I mean, it's fairly straight. These louvers look great on both sides. The corners we could work with. We could straighten that out and maybe a little thin Bondo layer. These louvers are perfect. The gas cap door is perfect. Obviously, the bottom of, of it's gone. I know it's going to be a lot of work, but it's not too far. It's savable. This guy just decided to, like, get... 100% out of Volkswagen. So I've even bought his rotisserie. I wasn't going to, but uh, I could use it. Why not? The uh, the camper that he's got, I'm getting. It's more or less for parts. He's actually already cut this headlight. Fucked it out of the camper. Um, it's rusted. I mean, it's rough. The floorboard in it is gone. The, uh, the back door, when you open it, the bottom of it's gone. A lot of this right here is gone. I'll pick it up on Sunday and, uh, do a video of it. But this thing, I mean, it, everything's been sandblasted. You can see there's still sand. Here and there. There's some more sand. So it's showing all of its true colors. There shouldn't really be any surprises. And I really don't like getting into projects that other people have started. Because there's a few things I'd have done differently. Like, for instance, the front. I mean, if that was rotten. The headlights are rotten. Top's rotten. This is rotten. Why not buy the whole front skin? Like that's what I would have done. It'd have been a lot less work. By the time you buy all those patch panels, it probably wouldn't have cost much different. And uh, like the the pedals, the shifter, the dash, the steering wheel, all that is packed inside of the. Uh, of that camper that I've got to go get. And I don't know what's what with it. I mean, I didn't take it apart. I've been into these before. This isn't my first bay, but I've got a 70 bay window. But, uh, I mean, like the nuts and the bolts, I'm sure those weren't, you know, kept track of. So that'll be fun having to dig through, find all that. The seats, I did see the seats in that camper that come out of this, and they didn't, from what I saw, they didn't look too bad. You see the top's pretty solid. I know these on the single cabs like to, I guess, collect leaves and sit there and rot, but this one's solid. The uh, the gutters are solid on both sides except for right here on this side. But I could work with that. We can fix that, it's no problem. But the guy just decided to get 100% out of Volkswagens and 
I know the uh, the 68 front end is in the uh, camper now. He's got another bus front end. He took me up in his attic of his shop. It's completely full of like uh, engine blocks and uh, steering boxes and engine tin, bunch of stuff like that. He said if I was gonna take it, I had to take it off. So. There's no telling what I'll find up there. I can really only use a couple of pieces from up there, but I'll take it off. He gave me these. Brand new set of carburetors. These are the exact same carbs that I run on the um, on the rail buggy. No things on the rail. The camper supposedly he drove it home. That was six years ago, but it ran and drove six years ago. Granted, now the front end has been replaced so i'm sure he didn't bleed the brakes and the car probably gummed up and the battery shot but my 70 bay window needs an uh it needs an engine and transmission because i originally pulled the engine transmission out for the buggy and it was running and driving brake pedals still hard on it so i could literally take that motor do a little tuning on it and probably get my 70 back up and going again so I think that might be my next rainy day project is to dig the 70 out and uh, get it going with the engine and transmission out of the camper and this will just be an ongoing winter project to do all the metal work to But uh, if you want to see this thing getting welded on, getting brought back to life from an empty shell, a shortened shell at that, then subscribe. Subscribe to the channel and keep up with it. I'll be posting more about the, uh, the Baja. I've still got a ways to go on it. But... Uh, I mean, it runs and drives. We drove it around sitting on a bucket. It's got the 2.2 Ecotec engine out of Chevrolet. Six for a printed axle. Another thing I wanted to mention was the gates and the treasure chest doors are still up there at the guy's house. I got to pick them up Sunday when I get to camper. They have not been cut on yet. And to be honest, if I keep it short, I don't know if I'm going to cut on those gates. They, uh, from, from what he, I haven't seen them yet, but from what he said, the bottom has a few pinholes in it, but they're fairly straight, fairly solid. So that's kind of another reason why I would want to stretch it back out. So I can put gates on it, because if I cut those gates down, I'm going to feel terrible. Because those gates, if, if, if they're in as good shape as, as he says they are, then I really don't want to cut them in half. I would have never cut this in half. But, uh... Just wanted to mention that, and this Sunday, I'm going to get the camper home and the gates and the other front end and all the stuff in his attic and all that good stuff. When I get it all home, I'll do another video showing y'all guys that, and uh, we'll try to line up this other project and get it on the road. Thanks.